Cremation complete. Please welcome the general. Welcome back, 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 general. The general. Your business trip is scheduled three days from now. Here's the list. Please take a look. Please send three invitations to my fiance, Huang Ting Ting. Three days. I want to let her know that her husband, he's the most powerful man in the world. But before that. Don't reveal my identity. Yes, sir. General, the wedding car is ready for departure. Okay. Thank you. Take this and exchange it for something to eat. I won't leave you again this time. General, it's your family that's come to ask you to return to the family. Tell them. The moment the Chi family asked me to go in jail for my brother, the old Chi Yue is dead. The current Chi Yue has nothing to do with the Chi family. Don't ever bother me again. You, please go and take care of it. Make sure this won't interfere with my marriage. I understand. Mom, I'm here to pick up Ting Ting. Chiwe, if you want to marry my dowry today, you must give me another one million yuan as a dowry. One million yuan? Didn't we agree on three hundred thousand yuan? With the status of the Huang family. You want to be my son-in-law with a 300,000 yuan dowry. Do you think you're buying fresh double of the market? Hey, Glee. Ting Ting, are you also thinking the same thing? Isn't my mom right? I've wasted five years of my youth with you. I think another one million yuan is not too much, right? I will marry you if you give me this one million yuan. If not... I will not marry you. Ting Ting, my funds are frozen. I can't get the one million yuan now. Otherwise, let's get married first. After we're married, don't even say one million yuan, ten million yuan, or even a billion yuan. Where did you get this confidence? You must be just came out from the countryside, right? Do you know what a billion dollars is? What do you take a piss and look at yourself? Ching Ching, no matter how you push him, he will also unable to get the money. Today is your wedding day, so let's finish the wedding first. The guests are waiting on site. Ching Ching, you are a traitor. If you want to help this loser... Why don't you pay for the million yuan? <coughs> Who's Wang Ting Ting? Who's Wang Ting Ting? I am. This is the invitation to the general coming out ceremony in three days. Please be on time. This is really for me. Uh huh. That's the general. He's so high and mighty. Where will he send an invitation to the Huang family? The Huangs are going to be rich. Don't forget us when the Huang family becomes rich and famous. I'm sure, I'm sure. You see? This is an invitation from the general. Soon we'll be a famous family. Of course we will. It's not for lowly people like you. That's right. Look at you. You are so poor. How can you marry my daughter? When I attend the ceremony of the general. Not to mention a million yuan. There will be rich people with 10 million yuan. I'll pretend that all these years of love have been fed to the dogs. I'm not... I'm not getting married today. Stop! What do you think this place is? You can come and go as you please. You can leave if you want to. I will let you go if you give me a million yuan. Ting Ting, don't go too far. Qi Yan, do you like this loser? 
Why don't you marry him? You two are a pair of bastards and a poor dog. What a perfect match. You? What about me? You didn't even give me a decent gift for my wedding. Oh. Ten years ago, you gave me a jade pendant. Take your jade pendant and get lost. Ching Yan, this jade pendant is yours. You gave it to Ting Ting. Yes, I was originally a whole piece. But it was broken into two halves. I gave them both away. What about the other one? I met a boy on the street. I gave it to him because I felt sorry for him. It's none of your business if he gave you the jade pendant. Oh. It's a love token. Huang Ting Ting, give it to me. This pendant is very important to me. I know you two were having an affair. Bastards. Huang Ting Ting. Wait for me. Ching Yan, will you marry me? Ching Yan, will you marry me? Chi Wei, you asshole! What did you take me for? I probably just ran out. Ching Yan, will you marry me? I swear to you on my honor as a man. I'll guarantee you a life of honor and wealth. If anyone dares bully you, I will make him pay. I will. Bitch! Shameless! I'll bet you the death! From now on, Ching Yun is my wife. Bullying her is bullying me. Ching Yun, let's go. Ji Wei, how dare you hit me for this bitch? Ching Yun, if you dare to walk out this door, I'll make you lose everything. Ching Yun, let's go. I'll take care of you if the sky falls. Wait! Let's see who wants to take my daughter away. I think it's some bastard who wants to take my daughter away. You unfilial daughter! You've been raised so well, and you want to run away with this wild dog? You want to kill me? Auntie and uncle, I'll be good to Ching Yan. What are you? Our Ching Yan, she's getting married to Mr. Chu. The Chu family is one of the four great families of Jiangzhou. Who are you to bark at me? No one in Jiangzhou is unaware of the Chu family's scoundrels. Chu Song has abused more women than I can count. What kind of bastard do you come from? How do you talk about our son in love? Let me tell you. The Chu family has been invited an invitation to the general's grand ceremony. When the time comes, the Chu family will give us a hand. We'll become a top tier family. It's just an invitation. I can get it too. <laughs> hey, did you all hear that? This little punk says he can't get an invitation. <laughs> Chi Wei, are you full of shit? Do you think this? You think this invitation is like the paper you use in your village? Can you just get it? Chi Wei, stop it. It's an invitation from the general. Ching Yan, you don't believe me? Ching Yan. Don't blame me for not advising you. If you believe this full moose white dog, you will have a hard time in the future. I can give you what Chu Song can give you. Shut up! Get the hell out of here! You really can change your ways. You're not match for Mr. Chu. Are you marrying or selling your daughter? Get out of here! Get out of here! Ching Yan has just agreed to my marriage proposal. She's my woman now. Can't leave. Dad, can you leave me alone? I go, Ching Yan parents. Is this how you teach your daughter? But she's not as obedient as our dog. If you go with this wild dog today, I will die for you. Mom and Dad, I really like Chili. Can you leave me alone? You. You, you, ungrateful daughter, are you trying to kill me? Dad, Dad. Uncle. What's wrong with you? Call a doctor. What's wrong? Doctor, 
Call the doctor. Call the doctor. Sister May, I bring you the chief of cardiology. Come and take a look at our Li Chong. Right, I'm the chief of cardiology. But if you want me to treat him, you're dreaming. Huang Mei, what do you mean? What do you mean? Your daughter. He just told my daughter's husband at her wedding. Oh no. Just do I will pick up her broken shoes. And you want me to help you? Dream on. You. What a bad family. Can you doubt? I put just a ding ting. I'm sorry. You. Auntie. Uncle's illness, I can cure him without her. I can do it. I can do it. Get the fuck out of here, bastard. You're the one who killed our Li Chong. I will deal with you later. Sister May. <gasps> For all time's sake, get up and save my husband, May. Don't worry, I will teach him your lesson. It's all my Ching Yan's fault. Save my husband. Mom, what are you doing? Get up! Ting Ting, my father is in critical condition. Please, auntie, please, I'm begging you. Please save him. Well, if you want my mom to save him, that's fine. Take a million yuan for the medical expenses. We only add Chi Wei's expense. Originally, I thought we'd get along just fine. But you had to dig your own grave. Then I'll let you go. Don't try to change the subject. You can't pay, can you? Okay, I will give you another chance. You and Ching Yang, get down on your knees and apologize to me. Say you're just poor, useless dog. You're not good enough for me. Ching Yang, she is only good for my broken shoes. Okay, I will kneel. Ching Yang, I'll cure your father's illness. No need to beg. Ching Yang, see? This is a poor dog with no money at all. If you can't pay the medical bill, that's fine. Just to save face, please speak up. She's the broken shoe I spit on. And you, you're only good for my shoe. Ting Ting. I said, Ching Yan is my wife. No one can insult her. Since you don't remember, I'll help you remember. Well, well, well. You have found a good sounding low. Remember, the person who killed Ching Li Zong was Qi Wei. Yes, sir. Huang Ting Ting, you forced me to do this. Arranger of Huang Ting Ting's family to be servants at the ceremony. And bring me my gold needle. Understood. Chi Wei, you're getting better and better at bragging. I would like to see how you will arrange it. What's with the needles? You think you are a miracle, doctor? You think you are a miracle, doctor? Ching Yan, your father's life will be in danger if I don't save him. Leave it to me. You're the one who killed our family. What a sin! Auntie, when I heard about the uncle's accident, I rushed over with Dr. Ma right away. Isn't that Dr. Ma from Jiangzhou First Hospital? Now, Mr. Jin is safe. Mr. Zhu, I know you'll be able to solve anything. There's no problem you can solve. If you want my help, you can have it. But there's no such thing as free lunch. Ching Yan, wait for me at the hotel tonight. Let me collect some interest first. Ah! Get your hands off me! I'll cure uncle's illness. What kind of wild dog barks here? Mr. Ma, you've done a great job. Stop it. Don't do this. Uncle will lose his life. You're gonna get your uncle killed. You're gonna get your uncle killed. You shut up, you wild dog. Somebody shut his mouth. Ridiculous. I treated more patients than you've eaten, you piece of shit. How dare you tell me what to do? That's right. Who do you think you are? 
How dare you stop Dr. Ma from treating patients? Uncle is furious. We need to stop the flow of blood first. What are you talking about? Haven't you heard our family enough? Dr. Ma is the specialist I spent 5 million yuan on. What the hell do you know? What have you done? What are you doing? What did you do to my husband? Asshole. Look what you've done. Dad! What's wrong with you? Dad! If I don't do something, uncle's life will be in danger. How can you talk about medical skills with just a wild dog? Stop! The golden needle is here! Ah! Isn't this General's envoy? Why is he here? What's the General Envoy doing in the Huang family? Let's take a walk. Let's go. Sir, are you coming here to teach us more? Mr. Chi, your gold needle is here. What's going on? How does he know Chi Wei? Is he... Really master of art? That's impossible. Definitely impossible. I've known him for five years. He's just a leg spittle. He doesn't know anything. He's probably just lucky to have met the envoy. Mom, why don't we just let him try? Hmm. What's this? What kind of stitches are these? It's amazing. Sir, your skills. It's amazing. You should be my teacher. Thank you, sir. Doctor, thank you so much. You're mistaken. I didn't save you. He did. It's him. Anyway, thank you. Chi Yue. I go. Li <laughs> You're awake. Are you still not feeling well? No, I'm fine. I'm... I'm doing much better now. I'm so grateful to Chu Song. If you hadn't invited Dr. Ma to cure Li Chong, I don't know what I would have done. Auntie, it's no big deal. We're family. It's only right. Don't. It was Chi Wei who cured me. You're Sen Yun. How can this loser know anything about medicine? You must be confused and don't know what's going on. It was Chu Song who invited Dr. Ma to Korea. Why don't you get lost, you piece of shit? You're the only one who knows how to heal. Even a sow can climb a tree. Master, you're amazing. Until now, I'm still in shock. Mr. Ma, who's the master you're talking about? Chi Wei. My master's skills are amazing. A few stitches brought Chin Li Jong back from the hands of death. Mr. Ma, didn't you Song ask you to cure my father? I didn't do anything. Chu Song, you're a liar! Bitch! How dare you hit me! Ah! Ah! Chi Wei, what ah. are you doing? Ah! My wife cannot be insulted. Kid. You're dead. You dare to hit my Chu family? I'm hitting your Chu family. Stay away from Ching Yan, and I'll beat you up every time I see you. Wait for me. Uncle's illnesses isn't over yet. He needs to rest. Why don't we go home first? Dr. Ma, did Chi Wei really cure Chin Li Cho? That's impossible. He doesn't know anything about medicine. He's just a lick spittle. It's not your place to judge my master's skill. And you don't have to come to work tomorrow. Our hospital is too small. It's too small for a big Buddha like you. Who do you think you are? How dare you talk like that? Just because I'm the director. You don't have to come to work tomorrow. Why did Mr. Ma fire me? I'm telling you. You're not doing your job. And you're blackmailing patients with your medical skills. How dare you? If you don't get fired, you won't be able to stop the public anger. 
Chiwe, do you think you can take me on? Just because you got lucky this there time? There will be a long time to come. You won't be so lucky next time. And you, Ching Ching Yan, your business depends on me. I will bankrupt you in a minute. Chiwe, thank you for what happened before. It's okay. As long as you trust me. Whenever you encounter this kind of thing again, I'll be able to help you out. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Mr. Chin, Chu's group has canceled all business with us. Who's that? Canceled with all our salesmen. What? It must be Huang Ting Ting. My building's material factory is not making good money. I've been relying on orders from Huang Ting Ting. That's why it's doing better. She's in charge of purchasing at Chu's group. It's all over now. I'm going bankrupt. Ching Yan, do you care about this factory? Of course. It's all I've worked for. How could I not care? In the beginning, I wanted you to take over, to be the richest man in Jiangzhou. But, since you care so much about this building materials factory, let's make it bigger and stronger. I'll make you the richest man in Jiangzhou. Will you die if you don't brag? Chen Liang Wei, the richest man in Jiangzhou. He's just a puppet of mine. His assets are mine. Okay. You go play on the other side. I'm busy now. Don't worry. I'll get you a big order. Ah, uh, Mr. Xu. That material is from our factory. Huh? Let me explain. Hello? Mr. Lin? Didn't we have a deal before? No! The price is negotiable. Hey! The last three partners also refused to cooperate with us. I'm going bankrupt today. Don't worry. Wang Ching Ching will come to you. Don't say such empty words. If you really have nothing to do, please think of something for me. Hey! Miss Chen, Wang Ting Ting has brought someone. What? Hi. Miss Chen, Wang Ting Ting has brought someone. What? Wang Ting Ting, what do you mean by this? Where? Debt amending. The general. Without you, there wouldn't be me today. You can take all my assets. Need not. You put Jiang Zhou, all building materials, factories except Ching Ching Yan. I bought them all. It's useful. I'll arrange for it to be done right away. In addition, cut off all the supplies to the Chu group. Give all the invoices to Ching Ching Yan. My big day is tomorrow. I heard that the Chu family has received several invitation letters. Yes, there is. Give me those few sheets to invalidate. I understand. Hi, Ching Yan. What's wrong? What? I'll be right back. What? I'll be right back. I don't owe you any money. I only have a deposit of 300,000 from two groups. Ching Ching Yan. Are you stupid or naive? Can you still deliver the materials that have been cut off as schedule? Can you give me a day's off? I can definitely come up with something for you. Oh, our Chen Chen is so pitiful. Where did the previous hardness go? Your Chi Wei brother is so powerful. Why are you still begging me now? Smash it for me. Stop! Stop it! Stop it! Do it again! I'll call the police. You will suffer retribution. What in team? Retribution? I have received the invitation later from the general for the grand ceremony of going out of the mountains. I'll be flying up to the branch and turning into the phoenix soon. You should be the one who got punished, right? Stop it all for me. Chiwe! You came just in time. Count old and new grudge together. Give it to me. Break his leg. What do you want to do? 
What's the use of you rascal fighting? Should I still pay for the money I owe you? Can't pay the money back? Ching Yan is waiting to go to prison. Is that enough? Where did you get all this money? This is the big order I brought you. Hurricane Group has given you a deposit of 5 million yuan from the building materials factory. Hurricane Group? Isn't that the company of Chen Ling Wei the richest man? Why are you so lucky? Take the money and get out of here now. You will regret it. Xin your broken company is also over. That's a bit early, isn't it? It will be the Chu Group, not us. What do you mean? The group's been sniped by now some. a large number of suppliers have suddenly cancelled cooperation. You hurry back to attend the emergency meeting. What? I'll be right back. Do you know anything? Let's go. Tomorrow is the grand ceremony for the general's appearance. I will propose to you at the grand ceremony. And there is coming out of the mountain ceremony if you can get it? I don't even need an invitation to get in. Good thing we made it. Yeah. If we get here late, he won't even find a place to watch. Yeah. We don't have an invitation. Hey, but we can always watch. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Chin. Here's your invitation to the gala. Please keep it well. Um. Ha. Huh. This is an invitation. Chin Ching Yen. Are you satisfied with this gift? Chu? Did you send this? Yeah. I heard Uncle and Aunt wanted to be at the ceremony. I especially got three invitations from the Chu family. <laughs> Mom, such an expressive gift. Please return it. You're stupid. How can you refuse? This is Chu's wish. Besides, if we make it to the festival, a lot more prestigious too. After Wang Tingting want to move us, they'd also have to wait. Aunt. Wang Ting Ting is an employee of my Chu family. She's gonna have to go through me if she wants to mess with you. <laughs> the party's about to start. Let's go inside. But there are only three invitations. This guy is not getting in. Ah, he's an outsider. Don't worry about him. Let's go inside. You guys go. I won't go if I don't feel well. This girl's a stubborn ass. Let's leave her alone. Go, go! Oh. Come on. They can't get in. The invitation was a fake. What's going on? It's fake. What's the situation? Why don't, why don't you let me in? How could my invitation letter be fake? Sir, the invitation letters for the three of you are indeed fake. Could you please excuse me? There are still guests coming from behind. My invitation letter comes from an absolutely legitimate source. I am the oldest son of the Chu family. You, guard, let me in quickly. Disrupting the order of the venue is capital punishment. Let them go. Dad, Mom, let's go. Mr. Chi, please come inside. But we don't have an invitation later. We don't need it. We really came in. Li Chong. There are many celebrities here. We have Develop. <laughs> Yo, isn't this my tattered shoes and attendant? Isn't this my tattered shoe and attendant? 
There is no invitation for the grand ceremony of the general's departure from the mountains. How did you guys get in here? Before I call the guards. Hurry up! You don't apologize to me. Otherwise, the guards here will have discovery. You must take off a layer of skin. Even if you don't die, we don't have an invitation later. Didn't you come with a straight face? Can you compare? Hmm. This is impossible. Don't be a dead duck with a hard mouth. Hurry up and apologize to us. You should have no ties by now. The gap between us, right? <gasps> be quiet, everyone. Welcome, everyone, to the general ceremony. The general attends to hundreds of important matters every day. He won't meet with everyone today. However, besides celebrating the departure of the general today, there is another big thing. That is to say, the general is going to propose to a lady at the scene. Ting Ting, the girl mentioned by the general might not be you, right? The general has no intersection with our family, but he also sent an invitation later specifically. Let's attend his graduation ceremony. Our daughter is naturally beautiful. He must have taken a liking to you. Ah, here he is! He's coming! If that's the case... Aren't I the wife of General? <laughs> That's great. Ting Ting, Sister May, it used to be a misunderstanding. A misunderstanding. Sister-in-law, please accept the dowry from the General. Sister-in-law, please accept the ancestral dowry. I... I'm willing to... Get out. You don't look in the mirror uh, either. This... Sister-in-law, please accept the dowry from the general. Huh? You... are you saying... me? Yes, sister-in-law. Ah, oops. Ching Yan, agree. Promise quickly. Oh my goodness, I finally opened my eyes. Our family to fly at a golden phoenix. I have never met General before. Why did he propose to me? Ten years ago, the General was penniless, tramped the streets, his sister-in-law, sending clothes to ward off the cold, gift of jade pendant as encouragement. There is today's invincible General Marshal. So that little boy, to be such a big shot as the General Shuai. But you go back and talk to General. I'm not suitable for him, so... I'm sorry. Silly girl, what are you talking about? Silly girl, what are you talking about? The general manager asked me to marry him in return for his kindness. And we're not from the same word, so it's not a good fit. Ah, uh, besides, I have a husband now. But... <clears throat> well, we respect Miss Kin's choice. Please move the banquet hall for dinner. Let's go. You, get out into the servants' company. You are here to serve the guests, and you want to eat with them. How proper. Ching Yan, you're confused. You're throwing away such a good opportunity. You're gonna kill me! Well, think about it again. Well, maybe it's not too late to say yes. Ching Yan, why did you refuse the marriage proposal of the general? I'm just a regular guy, and the general's status disparity. I also do not deserve him. Besides, I have not seen the world. I cannot adapt to the life of the rich. Dad, Mom, Ching Yan, don't worry. Even without the title of the general, I can make our family into a super rich family. <laughs> With you? How dare you compete with the general? You eat hours now and live hours? Wait till you find a decent job. I finally understand now. The reason why we can get in and out of this mountain ceremony is all due to our family, Ching Yan. I warned you, if Ching Yan cannot get back together with the general, you can go as far as you want. Honey, Ching Yan, go! General, what are you going to do with that guy Chu Song? Let it go. 
I also want to take the Chu group away from him and give it to Ching Yan, so that she can adapt to the life of the giants in advance. Got it. I also want to take the Chu Shi group away from him, give it to Ching Yan. Shit. Chu Xiao, Wang Ting Ting asked to see him. Let him in. What are you doing here? Too strong. Chiwe can bear to do this if people too much. Can you bury him? But I do have an idea. It could kill them both. Ah, tell me about it. Chin Chin Yan received a big gift from the Hurricane group recently. A large supply of goods is urgently needed. You mean someone came to you at this time asking for a job? Cut off her financial chain. After that, it's gonna put Hurricane group out of business. But there is a prison sentence and when the time is also afraid of Ching Yan not to ask you. Shit. The most poisonous woman is popular. I really admire you coming up with this idea. But the general has a crush on Chin Ching Yan now. If we do this to him, what should the general do if he takes it out on us? You worry too much about this. She just turned down the proposal of the general, harmed the total handsome lost face. It's too late to deal with her now. Well, in this case, it's too easy for them to just go to jail. Chi Wei, Chin Ching Yan, you guys wait for me. None of them can get away. Hi. What? Okay. Ching Yan, what's wrong being so flustered? Something happened to my company. I need to hurry over and take a look. I'll go first. Ah. What kind of trouble has the factory of Ching Yan encountered? It's a supplier, in Madam's factory. A sudden collective cessation of supply. After all, without external help, there is a high possibility of bankruptcy related to the Chu family. I haven't taken action against the Chu family yet, but the Chu family brought it to their door on their own just in time. Then let's sweep away the Chu family, withdraw another 100 million in cash sent to the Ching Yan's factory. Boss Chin, the millions in our heirs, can you make up? Huh? I advise you. Better go talk to Chu Xiao. Make an apology. Give you a chance to beg for mercy. Not so. Beg me later. I'm not going to relent. <laughs> Big you? I don't mean to tell you what you are. You don't look very old. You talk a lot. Don't you just want the money? Help oneself? Ah! It's gotta be fucking a hundred million dollars. I've never seen so much money. Ah! Wow! Miss Chin, that's a little bit of an underestimate. A mere 100 million? Then you want to fight the Chu family? Well, it's not that simple. Take the money. Let's go. Halt. Want to get money? It's okay. But we also need to make our accounts clear. The previous contract is written right there. You need to supply us with the ingredients. If it's not available, you're going to have to pay 10 times as much. This money. How to count? <laughs> want money? Sure. When you're holding up the Hurricane Group project, and you are broke and in jail, let's calculate again. Don't give the building materials factory any more trouble. Not so. I'll kill you. My hand. My hand is broken. You. Wait for me. You're a dead man. I'll have you killed. What's the trick? Just let it out. Chiwe, you better get a job when you get back. A man can do without a carrier. What? You dislike me? You're not afraid of people saying you're a Kikolo? Ching Yan, hold on to your seat. It's dangerous. What's the danger? <gasps> what are you doing, Chi Wei? Are you crazy? Chi Wei. Ching Yan, you drive home first. What are you doing? Chiwe! I'll take care of the trouble. 
They must be sent by Chu Biao. No, we have to go together. You don't want me to cause any trouble, do you? Go back and get some men. I won't. Do as I say. I'll do it. Chi Wei, remember that. I will be there if anything happens to you. Get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Su Chen, bring some men here. You are so lucky. We will gang up on you personally. Did Zhuo Biao send you here? You want to harm Qing Yan. He signed his death warrant. Dragons of anti-skills. Touching them will die. Stop bullshitting. You're gonna be a dead man, so you needn't know too much. Kill him. <laughs> devil! Uh, uh, devil! You're a devil! Uh. A guy I fought with last time. The grass was over one foot high on his grave. What do you think? I'm kind. Sorry, General. I'm late. Deal with them. You follow me to see a man. Boss Zhao, are you sure they will succeed? Four gold tigers will solve it in person. The couple must die. Uh, you didn't die. What are you doing here? I come for the liquidated damages. You go back first. I'll call someone to send it to you tomorrow when I have all the money. <laughs> Waiting for you to pull the money? I'm afraid you won't be able to pull it for a year. Come in. Welcome, Mr. Chen. Please have a seat. No, thank you. Let's talk about our contract. We have no cooperation between us, right? A couple days ago, the mysterious owner who bought all the building material factories in Jiangzhou City turned out to be Mr. Qian. No, it's Mr. Qi. I'm just one of his men. This. According to the contract, before tomorrow, you must supply this manufacturer with no less than 10 million. Otherwise, you will have to pay 10 times of penalty for breach of contract. About 1 billion. Ah, this. Mr. Chi, I didn't expect you to still have some abilities, but now you don't be smug too early. Fine. What else do you have? Show me. Hmm, it didn't solve the problem. Settle the person. Burning the contract. The problem won't be solved? Good idea. Huh. Get me somebody now. Security guard, where are you guys? <laughs> ah. What did you do to them? Are you looking for a Xi Jin Hu? It was entirely hopeless for you to count on them. Otherwise, how could they not come to save you? Ah! My god! The devil! Please spare my life! Please spare my life! Mr. Chi, I was wrong. Please spare me. Tomorrow. You will mortgage the factory to Ching Yan. Then, go to the place where the accident happened today and end your own life. Q. 
she went. Dad, Mom, where's she went? Dad, who to save him? He's probably still alive. You have to save him, Jimian. Come on, she went. He may have. No way. He must be alive. I'm going to save him. Enough, Chin Ching Yan. Your capriciousness has upset the Chin family. Chi Yue was dead. Impossible. Adjust your mood. In a while, get ready to marry Chu Song. Li Ren. Keep your mouth shut, loser. This is the daughter you raised. Look. Look what a mess she's made. Hurry up! No! Get out of you! Chin Yan, drop the knife. Put down the knife. I want to be alone. I will die. Put down the knife, Jin Yan. Get out. If anything happens to your daughter, I'll fight you to death. Chin Yan, let me tell you the truth. I've sent someone to contact the four golden tigers. No news. Probably they killed someone. Find a place to hide out. Chi Yue was dead. But Chao Biao won't let your Chin family go. Think about it. Who else can avoid it but me, the Chu family? At ease. I will tell you, I don't care if I die. I won't involve the Chin family. Look, I'm begging me. <laughs> Can't believe you're still alive. You, you're not dead. Cheng Yan, sorry. I came back late. Chiwei, you bastard. You're okay. Why didn't you come back last night? I was worried about you so much. Ching Yan, it's all my fault. It worries you. I will never leave you half a step in the future. Chi Wei, how shameful you come back. Leave her alone. If you are good for Ching Yan, just leave her quickly. Zhao Biao knows. He won't give up easily. If you don't do that, you will also implicate our Qin family. Only Chu Song can save us. Look, Zhao Biao is coming with someone. Ching Yan, this is your last chance. Go away, you bastard. We're going to kill our Qin family. Mr. Zhao, it's all Chi Yue's fault. It's none of our business. If you want revenge, go for him. Ah! Miss Qin. Miss Chin, we offended you yesterday. Today, we will pledge the factory to you. I hope you can accept it. Accept it quickly. You did it? How did you do it? Of course. Persuade others with reason. Um, Bocho. Literally, it's still in deadline. It can be postponed, or you can take it back. Ah, uh, please accept this contract. If you don't accept it, we'll kneel down and die here today. Chao Biao, what the fuck are you doing? You're an important man in the underground world. You knelt down to him? Shut up. What I am now, it's because of you. How dare you, Skull. You wanna die. Even if I'm dead, you will die with me. Oh. Huh. Best. Chi Yue, Zhao Biao, you will see. I want your lives. Chin family within 10 days. Send Chin Ching Yan to me. Otherwise, the Chin family will also be ruined. Ah. Miss Chin, please accept this contract. But I can manage all those factories by myself. Or, you can sell it to me. Okay, okay, good. Now you've totally offended Chu Song. You're bound to get in trouble. Ching Yan, if you don't want the Qin family to be destroyed, go to the Chu family yourself. In ten days. Don't worry, in ten days, the Chu family will change their name to Qin. Qin and Ching Yan. I'm not sure whether you'll survive 10 days. Mm. 
Now, can you tell me how you got them to do that? Some time ago, there was a mysterious businessman who bought all the building materials factories in Jiangzhou. That person is Qian Liang Wei, the boss of the Hurricane Group. Zhao Biao lost all his working capital to Qian Liang Wei as liquidated damages. So, he had to mortgage all his building materials factories to us. Chi Wei, Qing Yan was very worried about you just now. She almost died for you. You saw it. We also agree that you are together. But I hope you don't live up to Qing Yan's affection for you. Understood? Dad, Mom, don't worry. I will definitely make her the happiest woman in the world. Dad, Mom, aren't you afraid of the Chu family's revenge? Well, if the Chu family wants to take revenge, then let him do it. We can abandon the factory and leave Jiangzhou together. As long as the two of you are happy, we old couples will be satisfied. <laughs> Jin Li Zhong, you've been a loser during your whole life. We finally stand up today. Well, <laughs> Dad, Mom, in the future, the Chin family will be my home. If something happens, I'll take the responsibility. Don't worry. Mm, I haven't agreed to date you yet. Well, <laughs> General, today I, Zhao Biao, will use my life to make amends to you. We can do it now. Cha Chu, I heard you were injured. What happened? Son of a bitch, Zhao Biao, he dared to hurt me. When I recover, I will find someone to kill him, and what was your stupid idea? I officially inform you that you have been fired. Get out! Chu Chu Chu, what? Don't do that. I'm also useful. Chu Chu Chu, don't you want to see what color my blood is on? Get the fuck out, you! I don't care about you! Ching Yan. What happened? My girlfriend is coming in a moment, but she didn't know the way. I'm not feeling too well right now. Can you go and pick her up for me? Okay. Wait. What does your friend look like? Chi Wei. You're heartless. You don't care why I'm comfortable. Instead, you ask my friend what he looks like. I'm ignoring you. Ching Yan. I'm sorry. I should have cared about you first. You hurry up and pick her up. We'll settle this later. Okay. General, I'm here to send money to Miss Chin. Total, 10 million. Did you mortgage the factory? Where's the money? It's in the car. This car is also given to Miss Chin. Leave the money. Drive away the car. Can you be more careful? You're so clumsy. You stain my new clothes. <laughs> Someone like you deserve to pick up the garbage forever. Sis, it's been so long, and your butt has gotten bigger again. Wang Lolo, sis, Ow. all you learned in college was how to be holy again. Is that so? Hey, why did you come back alone? Where's Chi Wei? I came back alone, but I just encountered a stinky garbage picker at the door. 
It made me so angry. If I see that stinky garbage picker again, I'll definitely teach him a lesson on the spot. Yeah, darling, I'm back. It's, it's you. It's you. Do you know each other? He's the stinky garbage picker I just mentioned. Who said that just now? If I encounter the stinky garbage picker again, I will teach him a lesson on this pot. Shut up, I didn't say anything. Hey, you beggar. I'm warning you. If you want to marry my sister, you better find a decent job. If you can come up with a decent dowry, I want to agree to marry my sister to you. Chiwe, don't mind her. She's just a young girl who doesn't know any better. Hey, Lolo. I heard you found a job. How about treating your sister to a meal? No problem. Let's go eat now. I will treat you to a delicious stick. I heard. It's on sale today. Hey, you beggar. I'm talking to you too. But don't forget to bring money. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Why are you carrying a sack? Didn't you ask me to bring money? Don't tell me. You have money in that sack. I was wondering why the stick was on sale today. Turns out you kill all the cows for today. You two, go ahead and eat. There's something going on at the factory. I need to go back and check. Sis, I'll go with you. Lola, do as I say. You eat with Chiwe first. We have already ordered. It's a waste not to eat it. Bye. Hmm. Go ahead and eat. Oh, Lily, you're here too. Mr. Wong, what a coincidence. Yes, it's quite a coincidence. I happen to be eating here today. Join me. Sorry, Mr. Wong. I came here with my friend. So you have friends who are migrant workers. Ask him if he's interested in working on our company's renovation. Well, Mr. Wong, my friend is not a migrant worker. Not a migrant worker? Then he must be a garbage picker. Mr. Wang, please watch your words. Show some respect for others, thank you. You say I'm disrespectful? Then I won't show you any respect. Wang Lele, let me tell you, you've been fired from the company. Unless you come over and have a drink with me. I don't care if I'm fired. Fine, Wang Lele. You have guts. All right. Then I'll just have to go eat Australian steak. You can enjoy your meal with this garbage picker here. A 66 yuan mediocre steak. Hold on. Hold on. She's my younger sister-in-law. Only I can bully her. Others can't. Apologize to Lily and kneel down. Otherwise, I'll make you regret it. <laughs> you have a problem in your head. Who gave you the courage to say such things? Are all garbage pickers this arrogant nowadays? I'll say this too. Today, Wang Lele must accompany me for a drink. Otherwise, I'll make sure you can't survive in Jiangzhou City. What are you doing? You have embarrassed us so much. It's so shameful. Just because you protected me earlier, I'll forgive you for this kick. So what if you don't forgive me? Hurry up and leave! So embarrassing! Why are you in such a hurry? Give me ten minutes. I'll make him kneel down and apologize to you. I really don't know what my sister sees in you. Is she mentally ill? She's definitely not well. Mm. 
Waiter. Yes, sir. What's the most expensive red wine you have? Is the imported Romane Conti. 50,000 yuan per bottle. All right. Table 5 said they wanted a bottle. Serve it to them. Understood, sir. This is the consequence of opposing me. The show is about to begin within 10 minutes. Let's see if you come begging to me or not. Waiter, waiter, the bill please. Hello sir, your total comes to 50,532 yuan. What? Over 50,000 yuan? How is that possible? Ma'am, this bottle of wine alone is worth 50,000. Um, I will pay later. Let me make a phone call first. Oh, Lele. Romane Conti, huh? I can't afford this wine. You are so classy. You bastard. All of this was intentionally arranged by you. You are so classy. So what if it was arranged by me? And what if it wasn't? In any case, you're the one drinking the wine. Today, just pay the bill. Dream on. Or how about this? You come and have a drink with me, and I'll pay for you. <laughs> you really are a stubborn to the end. If you dine and dash like this, you'll end up in jail. Give me the car keys. Here, take them. Here, take them. Go bring the sack from the car. Sir, your keys. Open up. Isn't this a trash bag? You really are picking up trash. Are you planning to pay with your garbage? <coughs> enough? That's enough, sir. Wow, you finished eating with a pain. What are you doing here? Can I afford to pay? Come, drink with me. I will pay for you. Hold on. Did I say you could leave? Your words are too arrogant. You can't stop me, even if I am leaving. I've told you before, you will kneel down and apologize to me. <clears throat> Young man, don't get too arrogant. Hello? What? What? The company has been sealed? How? How is that possible? I, I haven't offended anyone. It was you. Who are you? It was you. Who are you? You have no right to stand and talk to me. Kneel down. Ah, Lele, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have treated you like that just now. I have a family to support. Many people depend on the company. Lele. Lele, didn't she just invite you to have a drink? And go ahead. Thanks, Yue. Cheers! Cheers to you, bad lot. And you have the nerve to talk about your family. Hmm. How many girls have you hurt? Can you even face your family after that? If you dare to harass any more girls in the future, Chiwe, he won't let you go. Chiwe, let's go. Your anger has subsided, but I'm still angry. Lily, let's go. But what about the money? Ask the restaurant owner to bring it over for us. Also, the steak is too terrible. Don't pick here again. Okay, got it. You bastard. Dare to go against me? I'll make sure you won't end up well. Chue, come on. Sit here. Chiwe, come on. Have some water. You must be exhausted today. Lala, are you okay? I'm okay. What could possibly be wrong with me? Didn't you not get along with him? It's nothing really. But you, sis, you're not being fair. He's a competent. Why didn't you tell me before? And also, the sack isn't filled with garbage at all. But one million yuan. One million? Where did that come from? 
There's a supplier selling off his factory. He paid 10 million as a breach of contract. They're just part of it. Also, Tianchun grew when bankrupt. Which is a word from Chi Wei. Tianchun Group? That's a large list company. Chi Wei, when did you become so capable? Oh, I see. It must be the general. Why is this guy always around? But hey, Chi Wei. Try not to make trouble out there. We can owe the general any more favors. Ching Yan, that girl, always gives me a headache. Loser she's chosen, even can't hold a candle to Chu Shao. Why did she end up like this? If he brings trouble, I won't let him off the hook. Oh, Chu Shao, you're here. Please have a seat. Have a seat. <clears throat> you gave me your word that Ching Yan would marry me. But it's been nine days already. How is the bride's side getting ready? Well, Chu Xiao, I'll go back and patiently persuade her. The girl just made a foolish mistake. You've said this before too many times. You really think I'll believe you? Here's what you're gonna do. Ching Yan is bidding for a big project of Hurricane Group. You just need to find a chance to swap her bid proposal. I'll handle the rest. But Chu Xiao, Ching Yan's business is too insignificant. It shouldn't pose a threat to you. Besides, even if it succeeds, will she change her mind? Ah. Chu Xiao, isn't it too risky for you to do this? It might even jeopardize my entire family. Don't worry, I'll take all the risks. All right. This time, I'll listen to you. Shu, I assign a task to you. Go to work at Ching Yan's factory. Change your bid proposal. The success of our family all depends on you. Cousin, Spare, why are you here? You're my cousin. I should come and visit you, right? Alright, spill it. What's the matter? You know, I've been jobless lately. My family pushed me into blind dates, which is driving me crazy. So, I thought maybe I could find a job through you. Fine. Stay and work as clerk. Wait, cousin. Where are you going? I could deliver the bid proposal to the Hurricane Group. Hurricane Group? I will pass by there anyway, so let me handle it. Cousin, don't you trust me? We're family. If you make money, I will benefit from it too. How could I mess up something like this? Alright, rely on you then. Don't worry. No matter how excellent you are, this time, you will definitely fall. Chin Ching Yan, you have offended the true family and won't have a good ending. Ching Yan. Don't be nervous, yo. Yo, cousin, you come here so early. Sui, I didn't bring you. How did you get in here? Isn't that obvious? I brought her here. You brought her here? Why? Because she's my staff. Sui, what happened? Didn't you come to my factory yesterday? I'm working for Chu family now. The salary child Chu pay for me is several times higher than yours. Fine, whatever. But never ever come to my factory. <laughs> I'm afraid that you might not keep your factory. What do you mean? Ching Yan, I'm gonna level with you. Later, if Hurricane Group comes for you, welcome to beg me. Maybe I'll help you. Or you're dead beat. Hurricane Group will come for me? Why? Chin Sui, you did something to my Brits. What are you talking about? You're completely losing me. Forget it. You will beg us later. You mark my words, Ching Yan. You said you'll engage me in ten days. It's already the eleventh day now. 
Later, doomed or married, your call. You mark my words too. Later, if Hurricane Group comes for you, welcome to beg me too. Of course, help or not, it depends. Beg, beg you, beg you to take a pratfall? <laughs> You're killing me. Let's go. Shoo. Bastard. I got the nerve to trust him. Chewie, let's go otherwise. The project must be screwed. We even may annoy Hurricane Group. Don't give up until the last moment. Who knows? Miracles happen every day. This project is a key project of our Hurricane Group. It has been listed by the city government as a key support project. Anyone who wants to participate in it and cooperate with us must have considerable strength. Below the list I read, please leave consciously. Ling Dong Technology. Da Chi Group. Jiang's Real Estate. The remaining six, except for a special one can cooperate with us. Well, I've scored all your bidding documents at that time. According to the score, the project proportion will be allocated. The fifth place, Wang family of Zhengzhou. The score is 65 points. The fourth place, Jiang family of Liu Cheng. The score is 70 points. The third place, the second place, the first place, Zhang Zhou, Qin Qingyan. The score is 100 points. In addition, I also have one special constitution book here. It's full of insulting words against me. Sometime, I would surely meet with this arrogant guy. Go. Sure. What happened today is thanks to you. When you go back, remember to ask us for a reward. Reward? What do you mean? Ching Yan, let's go. Ouch! Chu Song, how dare you hit me? Jin Shu, you a traitor. You're the one I hit. You fart. You're the traitor. You never say uncle even death is near at hand. It must be you, bitch, turned in that abusive bidding document. We Chu family has been ruined by you. You just wait and see. Even if I die, I'll kill your whole family. You have wronged me. It is all because of Chi Wei. <laughs> Wang Mang, go and catch Chin Li Ren back. You dare to bother me? I must kill you all. Bastard! How could he mess with the hurricane group? This is our disaster. Do not hesitate. Go and get the household register and make Ching Yan marry Chu Song. There might be some room to maneuver. Previously, the son of Chu family also said, if Ching Yan can marry him, we Qin family can become the Chu family's affiliated family. Then they could protect us. In this way, there's still a chance of surviving. Liren, there's no need to say anything. We respect Ching Yan's choice. At the worst, we'll leave Jiangzhou City forever. Hurricane Group is so powerful, it spreads all over the country. Where can you go? If you don't do this, I will... Ah, uh, get away. Li Zhong! You don't want to live. I still want to... Li Zhong, stop him! Open the door. Just open a fucking door. Open the door! Li Zhong! Don't let him in! Just open the fucking door! Oh no, how could he show up at the doorstep so quickly? They are Qin Ching Yan's parents. I have nothing to do with them. If you want to take them, take them. Who is Qin Li Ren? Chu Hurikal Chu Shang. 
to prove our innocence. Father Vaughn, you're the one who someone take it. What? So you're Chin Lira. You're really something, huh? How dare you make a fool out of Mr. Chu? Come with us then. You're getting it wrong. There must be some kind of misunderstanding. You know Chu Song is her son-in-law? Shut up and go. I'm telling you that... Hey, Chi Yue, something has happened. Your second uncle has been taken by Chu Song's men. You need to find a way to save him. Father, mother, after what he's done, you still want me to save him? This whole thing is him working with Chu Song to set us up. Tell me what's really going on. Go switch the bidding document. He got someone to tamper with my bidding document. You will beg me later. Wow, so it was him all along. And in the end, his plan backfired him. This is outrageous. Really outrageous. How cruel he is. He even came at his own niece. So what do you think now? Do you still want me to save him? Wait until tomorrow. Let's just leave him there, so that he can remember. Wait until tomorrow. Let's just leave him in there, so that he can remember. No. No, 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 no. How dare you fool me. I'll whip you to death. Mr. Chu, no, you're really getting it wrong. Chi Wei must be the one who's behind us. Bullshit. You think I'll believe your bullshit again? Stop, please, Mr. Chu. I have a way to fix it. You can use me to threaten Chin Ching Yan. Forcing her to admit that the bidding document belongs to her. Stop trying to fucking flatter yourself. Have you forgotten how you used to treat her? I think she would rather have you dead than save you. See? By far, there are no actions taken. It means she's already given up on you, Chin Ching Yan. It's you who betrayed me first. So don't blame them, Mr. Chu. I still have one trick up my sleeve. Then tell me. She... She has an adopted younger sister, Wang Lele. As you have her in your custody, you can make her do your bidding. Wang Lele. It sounds familiar. Wait a second. There's a new guy in the marketing department, also goes by the name of Wang Lele. That her? Yeah, yes. It's her. She is Wang Lila. So it's this pretty girl. Well then, what a shame. You can only blame yourself for being unlucky. <laughs> so it's this pretty girl. Well then, what a shame. Mr. Chu, you wanna see me? You. You know Chin Ching yet? Yes, I do know her. <laughs> You would be just fine. Since I can't lay my hands on Chin Ching Yan. Let go of me, you asshole! Let go! Don't come any closer! Otherwise... Come here. I would kill myself. Today I'm gonna let you live a little longer. Where are you? In a conference room at the Harvican Group's building. Well, I am now giving you two choices. Option A is to sign the contract with the Hurricane Group. In that case, your little sister, Wang Lele, will die. As for option B, it is to admit that the insulting bidding document is yours. That way, I would let Wang Lele go. Lola. What have you done to Lele? Chuseng. Hey, Jingyan, Jingyan, what happened to you? Jue, go to the Chu's house quickly. Save Lele. Chuseng, Chuseng has her. Don't worry, Jingyan. I promise you, nothing will ever happen to her. I'm coming with you. No need. You just stay here. The Chu Song wants you to admit that the bidding document is yours? Well, you just play along with him for the moment. To buy me some time, and I promise to bring Lele to you without a single scratch. Chiwe, I'm counting on you. Jingyan, I got this. Xu Zhen, gather some men at the Chu group. Today, we're going to war. Understood.
stop. Authorized personnel only. Who are you to stop me? Mr. Chu, Chi Yue is here. How many people did he bring? It's just him alone. Very well then. Let him in. Today I'm gonna settle both old and new scores. Hmm. Chu, leave this place, hurry. You're no match to them. Don't worry, Lala. Your blood won't be spilled in vain. Since you're here, Chin Yue, you won't be able to leave. And if you do want to leave, he can only be carried out. Lala. Live! You should live! Lala, you just sit here and watch. You calling me brother-in-law is not for nothing. <laughs> You're pretty fucking good at acting tough. Guys, cut the crap and get him. Disable him. Then, I would make him watch me fuck his wife and her wife's younger sister. Ah! Ah! Ouch! What a shame for this nice imported sofa. Ah! 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 Don't move, or you'll be dead. Sorry, General. I'm late. How can you be the General? You, how can you be the General? The Chu family is suspected of illegal trading. The evidence is solid. Catch him. Get. Act. Brother. Chiwe, is it all true? Just like a dream. Chiwe, can't believe that you are the legendary chief commander. Actually, you're my idol. So talking to my idol, just like a dream. Uh, just a name. Brother-in-law, since you are in such a post situation, why don't show it to my sister Chin Yan? Your sister seems to dislike the general. Why? Because your sister always thinks she and the general are from different worlds. Right? You must not tell your sister who I am. We're growing our love right now. When the time is right, I will tell her. Ah, 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 who's this? Ah. Chi Wei. You piece of shit. Why did you rescue me so late? On Earth, what did you say? What did you say to Chu Song? Make him get the wrong idea about me. Don't play tricks on my family again. Or you'll get the future, like two songs. You, ah! How do you talk to your elders? Chin Ching Yun must be blind. She won't fall in love with such a piece of shit. There's no need to talk to people like you. You. Go. Hurry up. Stand up. Are you Mr. Chin Liren? Yes. 
you have an older brother. His name is Qin Li Zhong. Yes, and you are the chief from Jingdu. I come to give the Qin a dowry. The Qi, the richest family in Jingdu. Right, that's right. The list of dowry is as follows: one black gold emperor card, two hundred million cash. A set of imperial jade jewelry. We wish Miss Chin and the young master a long life together. With the eternal love, we wish Miss Chin and the young master tied a knot. Mrs. The dowry has been delivered. Did my son refuse? Mr. Chi Yue was not present. I was worried they would refuse, so I put down the dowry and left. I hope Chi Wei would understand our good intention. The Chi gave two hundred million in dowry. Which girl in our family did they choose? There are only three girls in our family: me, Jin Qingyan, and the third uncle's daughter, Xiao Feng. Xiao Feng is still young, only twelve years old. Jin Qingyan is getting married, so it's me. <laughs> Now the chief from Jingdu wants to connect with our family. That being said, the entire Jiangzhou will be ours. <laughs> Qin Li Zhong thought he could rely on the Hurricane Group and do whatever he wants. In the eyes of the Qi, he is nothing. That no. <laughs> Chiwei, how, how have you been all these years? Now I am a general, and I have nothing to do with the Chi. Chiwei, I know all these years you have suffered a lot. You blame us. We understand, and we expect no forgiveness. We just want you to know the truth. What truth? It was your grandma's idea to jail you for your brother. If we didn't compromise. Your life might have been in danger. What's done is done. No need to explain more. I gotta go. Do not contact me anymore. Hold on, please. The dowry should have arrived by now. With this gift, we hope you will understand us. Dowry. What dowry? Ching Yan, why do you look unhappy? The order from the Hurricane Group is too much. If we don't expand the factory scale, we won't finish this project in time. So let's expand the factory scale. It's easy to say, but I have an idea. I heard that the Chu's construction company is about to be auctioned. The starting price is only. One hundred million. If we can win it over, the order of the Hurricane Group can be done easily. All right, let's buy the Chu's Construction Company. Silly girl. If I weren't afraid of saying no, I would have given it to you directly. Ah, ah. Dad, you finally come back. I'm so worried. Ah. You are hurt. I will get you medicine. Dad, who hurt you? That son of a bitch, Chu Song. Dad, don't worry. He will pay for it. This hatred we must avenge. There's no need. Why? The Chu, they're over. <laughs> ah. The Chu has a deep foundation. How could it just be collapsed? Perhaps they have offended a big shot. The Chu group is now shut down. Chu Song has been taken away. Maybe he's dead now.
Excuse me, is this the Chin house? Yes, right, it is. Hello, honey. Mom, the Chu's construction company is going to be auctioned. Its starting price is only 100 million. What? You, me, and sis must scrape together the money to buy a Chu's construction company. Honey, you overestimate our family's financial condition. We're just ordinary people. We can come up with 100 million. The person in charge of this auction is my mentor. I've already established a connection. He will take care of our family. Of course, when it's done, we're gonna give him some shares. So, even if we borrow usury, we have to make up 100 million. What? This? We have no time. Mom, scrape the money. Bye. Mom, why did you promise him? We can make up 100 million. Your brother has put a lot of effort into the Jews construction company. He also has established a connection. This opportunity will decide whether our family could soar or not. Shoshi, where did you borrow this car? What are you talking about? Borrow? This is my own car. Is it yours? You can't afford to buy this luxury car. <laughs> my future husband gave it to me. He is the children of the chief from Qingtu. Today he gave me a bright price of 200 million yuan. The chief from Qingtu? They are a rich family. Sui, I'd advise you to be cautious. Don't spend the money indiscriminately. You can think about investing. It just so happens that I have a very good project. Why don't you and I invest together? I think... You're just jealous. I suggest you leave those bride prices alone. Maybe they sent it wrongly. What if they want it back? What should you do? A filthy mouth cannot utter decent language. You think all the people in the world are like you? You can't afford a decent bride price. Forget it. I'm not gonna talk to you anymore. This family is unfathomable. Shui could not be their opening. Chiwei, you say is this going to be a trap? Leave them alone. If this is a trap, they got themselves into it. They won't listen to our advice. Fine. It's their fate. Chiwei, let's get busy with the action. Let's go. Tomorrow, on the auction of Chu's construction company, I hope that Ching Yan gets no competitors. Understood. I will greet all the participants of the auction. Wang Tingting, what are you doing here? Qin Shui, I got a big business to negotiate with you. What business? Go ahead. Trust secret. Let's talk inside. You should have heard about the auction of Chu's construction company. Yes, Qin Qingyan said that the minimum bid for this auction is 100 million won. Exactly. And what I'm telling you is that the person in charge of the auction, Wang Minghui, is my younger brother's mentor. We had reached an agreement with Mr. Wang during the auction. He will offer us a preferential treatment. As long as I have enough money, I'm confident in acquiring Chu's construction company. Wait a moment. You're saying that you want me to use the bride price for, to bid for Chu's construction company? You're saying that you want me to use the bride price for, to bid for Chu's construction company? That's right, Jin Sui. Think it over. You should have known the size of the Chu's construction company. It's worth at least 1 billion won. This is a really golden opportunity. As long as we acquire Chu's construction company, it's a surefire investment. You get 60% and I get 40%. That sounds like a good deal, but I need to discuss it with my father. Sure, take your time to think about it. Give me your answer by tomorrow. Shu, I think you should partner with Ting Ting. Think about it. 
trading 100 million yuan for 1 billion yuan. It's a great deal. <laughs> and if the Qi find out, they'll definitely appreciate you more. Then, it would also improve your status when you marry into their family. Dad, I was thinking the same thing. This way, when I marry into the Qi, I will have more say. Before, Qin Qin Yang said that the Qi Tilda's interest in me is trapped. That made me so angry. So I've decided to use the opportunity to prove them wrong. Alright then. Tomorrow morning, go to the auction house with Ting Ting. Ting Ting's business knowledge is quite reliable. Why are there so few people here today? I heard there are many corporations that are interested in Chu Chu's construction company. Why didn't they come today? Maybe those big bosses are not interested. They couldn't be bothered to come. Is that true? Chin Sui, why are you here with Wang Ting Ting? I think the idea you mentioned yesterday is quite right. What idea? Using the bride price as an investment to make money. So I've decided to join force with Wang Ting Ting to bid for Chu's construction company. Chin Sui, we're family. If you don't want to cooperate with me, that's fine. But you're competing with me by partnering with her? Do you even know what kind of person Wang Ting Ting is? Who are you to say we're family? You have your own big factory, but have you ever cared about us? When I went to your place looking for a job, you only offered me a thousand yuan a month. Are you even serious? If we are truly family, why don't you share some of the share with us? Now that's a real family. Chi Wei. My mother actually gave the bride prices to Qin Shui. Qin Shu, you want to participate in the bidding using the bride prices from the Qi from Qingdu? I advise you not to do that. What if they suddenly want them back? That would be so embarrassing. Qi Wei, you're the least qualified to say that. The Qi from Jingdu is a well-known and prestigious wealthy family. Do you think they are the same with you? When you got married, you couldn't even offer 300,000 yuan worth of bride price. Are you in the position to compare yourself to them? Let's go. They are just jealous. Wait until I marry into the Qi. You will envy me. <sighs> Qin Sui. Now, Qin Sui regards me as her enemy, but it was clearly her who wronged us, betraying me in the past. I didn't hold a grudge against her. You even saved the second uncle. Don't worry. They will come begging you later. If the price goes up to 200 million yuan, you just give up. Let them take it. Why? Even if Chu's construction company is worth 200 million yuan, is it, it is worthwhile to take it? Don't worry. Even if they took it, they won't be able to keep it. They will obediently return to you. When the bidding starts and the bid reaches 150 million yuan, just directly bid 200 million. So much for a bid. Those bidders will definitely hesitate. I'll seize the chance to drop the hammer. The Chu's construction company will belong to you. Mr. Wang, didn't we agree on a 100 million yuan deals? Why did it suddenly cost 200 million yuan? There are so many bidders. If you bid at this price, you will not be able to get it. I originally arranged for the small auction venue. Just to cover up. Unexpectedly, a lot of people came. Okay. I'll go back and discuss it with my friend. Discuss what? Everything is said and done. Does she have any other options? Choose construction company auction officially begins. Starting price is 100 million yuan. Every bid will be increased by 10 million yuan. The auction of Chu's construction company begins. Starting price is 100 million. Markup price every time no less than 10 million. 110 million. 110 million. Anyone else? 130 million yuan. 120 million. 120 million. Anyone else? 130 million. 140 million yuan. 150 million yuan. 
ting ting. Didn't we agree on 100 million yuan? After spending the 150 million yuan, I don't have many petrol gifts left. Can't see. The competition is very intense. We can buy it with just 100 million yuan. If we don't bid, Choose Construction Company will belong to Ching Yen. You don't want to see it, right? And Choose Construction Company estimate value is 1 billion yuan. We buy it with 400 or 500 million yuan. It would definitely be profitable. Okay. It will be profitable anyway. We have to make Ching Yen suffer. Okay. 150 million. Higher price. 160 million yuan. 200 million yuan. Wang Ting Ting, you've gone too far. Those are all my bad throttle gifts. Chin Sui, nothing ventured, nothing gained. If I don't bid 200 million yuan, Ching Yan, that bitch will keep marking up the price. It is said that she has a connection with the Hurricane Group. If she borrow money from Ju Feng to compete with us, what we've done will be in vain. At that time, what do you think they will do? Fine, 200 million yuan, just 200 million yuan. But you can bid it more. I don't have any more money. Take it easy. We're done. Chiwei, do you have some money? Ching Yan, I said we shouldn't bid if the price is over 200 million. Wait for a moment. They'll give it to us. You said they will give it to us. And they will give it to us? Who do you think you are? Okay. Forget it. That's all. 200 million first time, 200 million second time, 200 million third time. Deal. Congratulations to this lady. You've got Choose Construction Company. Please come here to do the handover work soon. Just, oh no. Director Jin, congratulations. Ching Yan. Don't go now. There's a good show ready to begin. What show? Oh, Jian, you haven't left yet, have you? You want to cooperate with our company? Based on our relation, I can give you some priority. Darling, do you remember what I said 10 days ago? Well, what did you say? Ten days later, Chu's construction company will belong to Chin. <laughs> I didn't expect you can predict it, but there's one thing that you were wrong. Chu's construction company will belong to Chin's way. No, belong to Chin Ching Yan. <laughs> How dare you say so? Of course, look. This is the guy from Chief Family. He's the one who gave me the bread throttle gift last time. They may come to discuss with me about the wedding. Chin Sui, congratulations! From now on your status will be different. Don't forget about our friendship. Uncle Chi, did you come here to talk about the wedding ceremony? Sorry, Miss Chin Shu. My young lord didn't choose you. We just sent the betrothal gifts to the wrong place. We just sent the betrothal gifts to the wrong place. How? How could it be possible? When you gave us, you confirmed my identity with my father. The owner of the betrothal gifts just has the same name as your father. Please don't be difficult. Now give me the betrothal gifts. This, well, has nothing to do with me. How about this? I will give it to you tomorrow, to tell you the truth. I made bids for Choose Construction Company with the bread total gift. I will give it to you after I sell Choose Construction Company. I don't have much time to talk to you. Now give me the betrothal gifts. Well, I give you Choose Construction Company now. Is it okay? It fell is 1 billion yuan. You will earn a lot of money. Hmm, <laughs> just a Choose Construction Company? I don't need it. Just give me the 200 million. I'll buy betrothal gifts again.
Sister, how about you lend me 200 million yuan? I will return it after. I shall choose a construction company. No, no, no. We don't have money. Sister, I know you can help me. If needed, you can take the company as a more touch. If needed, you can take the company as a more touch. We don't have money. You've got the wrong person. Sister, we're family. You cannot let me die. If I open the Chi family, I will die. Family? You didn't say this before the accident. We're family now? I'm really learning a lot about you. Chiwe, how about we help her? Ching Yan, you're too nice. To my mind, she deserves a lesson. Chiwe. For Ching Yan's sake, we can do you a favor. However, you'll have to sell us to choose construction company for a hundred million yuan. A hundred million yuan? Such a foolish fantasy. I will sell it two hundred million yuan. Ching Yan, let's go. Sister. Please don't leave. You cannot let me die. I will die. A hundred million yuan, okay? A hundred million yuan. But you must lend me another hundred million yuan. Ching Yan, what do you think? Okay. Okay. Well, you just sign the lease. You already have the contract prepared. Are you satisfied now? You're awesome! I've told you before, Chi family sent betrothal gifts to the wrong people. Sooner or later, it will return to the real owner. Hey, how do you know that? The young master of the Chi family falls in love at least with the most beautiful girl in the world, Ching Yan. Chin Shu is just, um, nobody to him. You are really good at praising. Oh, by the way, we have to take over just construction company quickly. In that case, you can get profit multiple times. Ching Yan, why don't you just go back first? I shall meet an old friend. Oh. Uncle Chi. Young master? Uncle Chi, when I was in the Chi family, you treated me so well. Young master, you, you suffered a lot all these years. This meant nothing compared with my encounters in the Chi family. Never mind. Don't bother me anymore. After all, I'm done with the Chi family. Young master. You don't have to persuade me. I won't go back. Ah! The invincible Chi family eventually made a mistake as well. Oh dear. Jin Shu, how's it going? We have got Chu's construction company, right? Dad, not to mention the company. I owe Chin Yan a hundred million yuan. What? They have pushed us too far. Obviously, it's a trap. No, no. I must acquire them. Father, it's too late. They forced me to sign the contract. If I don't sign it, the Chi family will kill me. I've got no upper hand here. I could have collaborated with them. I'm to see my big brother. Jing Yun is setting a trap for us. Fall into. We cannot let the money go. Dad, Chi will rule it now. To get rid of our tap, we must avoid him. If they refuse to face it, I will... Ah, who are you? 
Today, I'm here to get back my share in Chu's construction company. Mr. Wong, you know what happened today. The Chi family is untouchable, so I had to trample Chu's construction company. I can't do anything. I only want you to return what belongs to me. If not, there will be blood. Kinswe, the power of Mr. Wang is beyond our imagination. You can mess with him. Please, Mr. Wang, we couldn't help it. Please, don't pursue us. Look, in this situation, we can't pay you back. Then, wait to die. You think I'm easy to mess with? Mr. Wang, please listen to me. At this point, even if the Qin family is sold, it's irrevocable. I... I have an idea. We may get back the company or even more. But it needs your collaboration. Yes, yes. Mr. Wang, if you need any help from us, just tell us. We'll surely cooperate with you. Do you remember Si Jin Hu and Chou Piao? I remember. I thought they once offended Qi Wei. Yeah. I know. After the incidents, they died within a few days. I thought, he where they did. Just because of offending him, these five persons got revenge. Do you have some evidence? Someone saw Cho Piao Mo touch the factory to Qingyan. On the way home, he was drawn by Chi Wei. I saw that. <laughs> Yes, that's right. We are giving false testimony to live or to die. It's dependent on your choice. It's already late. How about do it tomorrow? No. Tomorrow I should go to choose construction company and have a meeting. Before the meeting, I must learn enough about this. Oh my, that desperate, the wealthiest person in Jiangzhou, must be you. Look what she is. What's going on? General, we are told that Wang Minghui is gathering evidence of your murder. He wants to accuse you, Wang Minghui. He still learned nothing. Wang Minghui's background is not ordinary. He had the support of some great people, and he also collaborates with the enemy. Collect the evidence and be on call. Yes, General. What are you doing? Where is Chi Yue? He's go out. What's up? Go out? Why is he going out at the time of our arrival? Isn't he a fugitive? What are you talking about? Listen, we have found sufficient evidence to prove. Chi Yue killed Zhu Biao and Si Jin Hu. You better hand him over. Incorporate with investigation. It's impossible. You're talking nonsense. Chi Wei is absolutely not a person like that. Qin Qing Yan, you only know his face, but not his heart. You don't know Chi Wei's just color, but we don't blame you. We have witnesses. Who saw Chi Wei kill Chou Piao? Who are the witnesses? Qing Yan, we saw Chi Wei kill Chao Biao. You shouldn't lie to us. Covering a criminal is illegal. So tell us where he is. Li Ren. Chi Wei came into conflict with you, but you can't frame him up. He is the husband of your niece. My brother, I place righteousness above family. I don't frame him up. What I do is nothing but for him. I want to help him realize his errors and correct them. You, I believe law is just. Your frame up won't prove that Chi Wei is a murderer. Law? I am the law. If these two testify with other evidence, Chi Yue will be sentenced to death. It's easy. However, 
Heaven has the virtue of cherishing life. I'm not a callous person, and I can give him a chance. What should I do? As long as you hand over all your possessions, I will let him go. No way. It's all Qing Xian's work. I can give it to you, shameless people. Well then, I'll just have to... Wait. I would call Qi Wei. He's got a big plan behind him. General, wonder if he's a case for a foreign force. We can't rule that out. Don't wake a sleeping dog for now. Send someone to keep an eye on them. Got it, sir. Hey, Ching Yun. It came so soon. Ching Yun. I'll be right back. Qi Wei, don't get emotional. Then come back here. Xu Zhen, send someone. Let's teach him a lesson first. Yes, sir. Mr. Wang, your over is too important. I will have to think about it, and I will give you the answer tomorrow. Don't play tricks on me. You think I don't know you're stalling? Now, either hand over your property, or hand over a Qi Wei. Even if he flees to the ends of the earth, I'll be able to catch him. Sconding. That's an additional crime. <laughs> <laughs> Xiao Shu, you guys did a great job. What a relative. Wait a minute. I killed Zhao Biao and Xi Jin Hu. It has nothing to do with the others. Dad, don't be impulsive. Listen to me. There's still a way out for us. If, if we give up our enterprise, we can start all over again. Silly girl, you're still young. You don't know how dangerous the world is. Humans are the greediest of all. As long as they have power over us, we'll always be under their control. You gave them our enterprise this time. What if they come back next time? We'll be blackmailed for the rest of our lives. Li Run, listen. How could you force your own brother to die? I hope. On the day of my execution, you could be there to see me off. Hey, what kind of drugs does that loser Chu Yue give you? You're willing to die for him? Brother, I didn't force you. It's your stupidity. You're pushing yourself into a corner. Well then, do you want to die? I will fulfill your wish. Come on, take him away. Ah! Hands off! Hands off! Let him go! Hands off! You've done a terrible no thing. No one will be spared. Why is the fate of our family so miserable? Okay. I promise you. I promise you, okay? Too late. Don't, don't promise him. You're looking for death. Chiwei! Chiwei, run away! They're going to catch you! Go now! Ching Yan, don't worry. I'll take care of it. You'll take care of it? What are you going to do? Well, you came at the right time. I can take you all today. You're suspected of killing Chao Biao and Xi Jin Hu. There is enough evidence. What are you going to do about it? Chao Biao? I didn't kill him. Today, it's not you dealing with me. It's me dealing with you. You didn't kill him? Prove it. Proof? Okay. I'll give you a big surprise. Chiwe, how dare you attack Mr. Wang? You screwed! Even if you didn't kill him, he can be saved. Chiwe, hurry! Take Ching Yan away! Leave here and don't ever come back. Chiwe, what are you doing? Run! Are you insane? No one can bully my wife. Not even the King of Heaven. Whoever makes you cry, I'll make him bleed. That's impossible. Aren't you dead? 
That's impossible. Chopia. You're so annoying. You're always freaking me out. Mr. Wang, this evidence is enough to prove my innocence, isn't it? Even if Zhao Biao is still alive, then what about Xi Jin Hu? You can't get her out of this either. Mr. Chi Yue didn't do anything to us. He just wanted to teach us a lesson. Good. Very good. Chi Yue, do you think I can't do anything to you? Just for hitting me, I'll put you in jail for life. I'm afraid you won't get a chance. Chiwe, let's go home. Why? The show's about to begin. This is not the right time to joke around. Chiyue, tell me the truth. Did you tell them to come? You will know it soon. Keep people hanging. Wang Minghui, you're extremely evil. So what's wrong with me? The Chu group trusts you. Why they gave you the auction rights? But you bend the law for selfish ends. You manipulated the auction. You really are an evil person. I didn't do anything. I was framed. Huh? Who cares if you're framed? Go with us first. Take him away. No! I didn't do anything. I'm innocent. You auction off the Chu's construction company, right? This matter, we'll look into it. If we found out you're involved, we won't spare you. Have some water. General. Wang Minghui has someone behind him. He's been acquitted already. Hmm. Interesting. It looks like there's a big fish behind him. Let's play with him a little longer. Come on, smash it all! Stop it! Wang Minghui, why are you making trouble here? Making trouble? You're wrong. I just want to destroy your company. Bastard. I have no grudge against you. Why did you come here to smash my company? No grudge? Don't play dumb with me. I'm warning you. Give me Chi Yue right now, and I can spare you a chance. Otherwise, I'll show you that life is worse than death. You have come to the wrong place. Chi Yue isn't here. Chi Yue. What a coward. He's pushing a woman out. Keeps smashing it until Chi Wei comes out. Stop it, please. Smash it. Stop it. Mom. Mom, where are you going? Ching Yen will be home soon, so I will buy some groceries. I'll go with you. You barely have time to rest at home. Just stay here. I'll go by myself. Staying at home is just idle anyway. Hey, Ching Yun. Someone's making trouble. I'll be there. Mom, I have to go to the office. Is everything okay? It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Go early and come back early. Tell Ching Yun not to work overtime today. I'll make you to steam pork. Okay, Mom. I'm off now. Go. Chao Biao. Bring your men to the company. You've turned to me, and it's time to show your worth. Understood. Brothers, it's time for us to show off our skills. Pull yourself together. With Mr. Chi, we'll break new ground, brother. You're at least the leader of the West Side Underworld. Why are you working for Mr. Chi's son-in-law? Shut up, you stupid bastard. 
Mr. Chin is someone you can humiliate too. Mr. Chi is hiding his identity to live an ordinary life. Brothers, from now on, we're hitching our wagon to him. What exactly is Mr. Chi's background? <laughs> Even Colonel Xu Zhen from the Northern Jing Army bows to him. My goodness, he's a general. By serving Mr. Chi, the day when we'll rise to success is coming. <laughs> Let's go. Stop! Stop! Chi Wei! Chi Wei, you need to leave quickly! They came to find you! Leave! Ching Yan, don't worry. They'll pay for this. Why are you so stubborn? Leave quickly! They want to see me step back? They're not worthy. Chi Wei. Coward. You finally came out. At least you're not a pussy. If you're smart, come with me. I'll save you from a lot of trouble. Who's your boss? Hm, <laughs> do you even deserve to know? <laughs> Mr. Chi, who do we fight? That's all you're capable of? Let these useless guys fight for you? If you want to fight, then fight. Stop with the damn chatter. Brothers, fight! Ah. You're called useless, and you truly are useless. You still feeling arrogant now? I only need one arm to deal with you. You're too arrogant. Ah. 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 You guys injured our workers, so you'll stay here as free labor. As for Wang Minghui, you can send him back, and let your boss come to pick him up properly. Oh, okay. Get lost. Chi Wei. Ching Yan, you go back first. I'll handle this. Chi Wei, why do you have such a strong hand? But in the future, let's avoid getting into fights. What if someone gets through? Why are you here? General, there have been some developments. The boss behind Wang Minghui is the Wolf Hall's leader. They have a strong network in this area, and many big shots rely on them for their livelihoods. No wonder someone as weak as Wang Minghui dare to act so arrogantly. It's because he has a powerful figure backing him. I don't care who he is. This time, I'll stop at nothing. Even if gods or Buddhas try to intervene. Wang Minghui actually failed. The four protectors. Come with me to Jiangzhou. This battle will decide everything. Yes. Chi Wei. Chi Wei, you're not injured, right? You have to trust your man. Those scoundrels aren't worth me getting hurt over. They are all extremely vicious. I've been really worried. Next time, can you not be so stubborn? Ching Yan, they came after me. How could I possibly back down? During this time, you shouldn't go to the company. If you do, I'll accompany you. Are you saying they won't give up? They will definitely come back with a vengeance. I'll have some people secretly protecting you at home. It's very safe. Someone protect me? Did you hire bodyguards? Ting Ting, did you hear? A lot of people have been coming to Ching Ching Yan Company. I heard someone even use a gun today. In my opinion, this time they're in a big trouble after offending important people. How long can they run? It's karma. Indeed. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Hmm? What's wrong? Mom. Mom. What's wrong? What's wrong? Mom? Your mother's cancer is ready in the late stage. What? Cancer? How can that be? 
She's a doctor herself. How could she have a cancer? If she is to be treated, it's going to be expensive. Go home and prepare the money. How much is the treatment going to cost? At least one million yuan. One million yuan? I can't even come up with ten thousand right now. Jing Yan, Jing Yan, do you want to go out and have some fun? I really want to. I've been so bored these past few days. You've been working so hard recently. It's a good time for you to take a break and rest. What kind of break is this? I rather not have it. Then let's go out later. Really? Yes. I noticed your jewelry and accessories are quite plain. I'll accompany you to buy some. So it's good, but what if those bad people cause us trouble? As long as you stay by my side, I'll protect you. I don't even know the word of all the jewelries that Chi Wei gave me for the past five years. Even if they were cheap, they must be worth a few thousand yuan in total. Never mind. Right now, my mother's medical expenses are like bottomless pit. I will contribute whatever I can. I'm sorry, but... This is low-quality fake gold. We won't accept it. What do you mean, low-quality fake gold? These are my most precious gift. Bring those low-quality fake gold to get an appraisal. How dare you? Take your most precious necklace with you. We won't accept it. Chiwe, is this your so-called love for me that you keep talking about? You've been deceiving me for these past five years. You useless piece of trust. You deserve it. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chiwe, what are you doing here? Weren't you arrested? You really wish I'd been arrested so badly? Looks like I've disappointed you. Forget it, Chiwe. Let's go inside and buy jewelries. Are you here to buy jewelries? Chen Qingyan, wake up! Chiwe is a vague, funny person. He won't buy you a real jewelry. I'm a living example. I've been with him for five years. He only gave me some defective and fake items. How can you be sure these are defective and fake? Nonsense. I just had them appraised inside. They are all a pile of junk. I was about to throw them away. Don't throw them away. Return them to me. Return them to you? Keep dreaming. Even if I smash them today, I will return them to you. But if you really want to buy them, give me 100,000 yuan and I'll sell them to you. Deal. Chin -in. he's just playing around with you. I've been with him for five years. He just gave me this chance to play with my feelings. Take care of yourself. Hold it right there. Today I'll show you where I've wronged you. Can you please appraise this for me? Young man, I don't have time to appraise this junk. Try another store. Chiwe, did you hear that? Take these junks away quickly. Do you want to embarrass yourself more? Chiwe, don't worry about the authenticity of this jewelry as long as your intentions are genuine. That's enough. Ching Yan, those are real. I gave away so many precious items, but they call them subpar. I can't allow this. Are you sure you don't want to appraise it? I have just appraised this gold. And it's indeed low quality fake gold. Stop causing a scene or I'll call security. You appraised this necklace just now? Yes, that's right. I'm sorry, this necklace isn't mine. The others are. I forgot. I bought this one. Take a look at the rest. Are you sure they're all junk? No need. They must all be fakes. Wait a minute. This is the Emperor's heart. It's the real Emperor's heart. It's priceless. At that time, only four were ever made. And they were auctioned for over 60 million yuan each. Nobles and royalty have collected them all. 
I never thought I'd see it in my lifetime. It's an honor. Truly satisfying. Chiwe. Chiwe, I was wrong. Chiwe. Chiwe, I was wrong. I was wrong. I will marry you. I will marry you right now. You always wanted to have me, right? Tonight, let's go to the bridal chamber. Give me another chance, please. Can this mirror be pieced back together? I can piece it together. I'll do it right now. Watch I piece it together. We can get married. I'm begging you. Ting Ting, stop it. You can do it. You're still young, and there will be other opportunities in the future. Ching Yun. Ching Yun. I beg you. Please give Chi Wei back to me. I've lost everything now. He was originally mine. You can take him away. Ching Yun. Ching Yun. Ching Yun, you can take him away. Ching Yun, give him back to me. It wasn't me who took him away. It was you who abandoned him. Security, kick this crazy woman out. Don't disrupt the shopping experience for customers. Ching Yun, give Chi Wei back to me. <sighs> If I had known before, I would have done it. Xu Zhen, where are your people? General, I found traces of the Wolf Hall. I'm currently searching with my brothers. They are not to be underestimated. If things don't seem right, retreat immediately. Yes, understood. Enemy attack! Everyone, be on guard! <laughs> nice to see you're unharmed. You must be Chi Wei's loyal lapdog, right? Eliminating you will leave him blind. <laughs> the fish has taken the bait. You must be the Wolf Hall's leader. What have you done to Xu Zhen? General. I have no quarrel with you. Why are you targeting me? General. Your presence broke the balance. Someone is trying to kill you. You mean the forces from abroad? You conspired with the enemy. <laughs> For my own sake. You do have a loyal servant. What a pity. Enemies who don't serve me have only one fate. Today, I will kill you. It's really shocking, General. You are invincible, but not without enemies. You see, who is this? <coughs> Ching Yun. If you hurt her in any way, I'm gonna doom you eternally. Are these your last words? Today, the shocking General will die in my hands. I will ascend in your glory. Prepare to die. <laughs> <laughs> G 
General, don't kill me. I was just possessed. General, General. Be wiser in your next life. Chewy, Chewy, are you okay? Chewy, 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 Chewy. The doctors say you should get more sun to get better faster. As a magic doctor, I need to tell you I just need to lie down. Hey, hey, if someone can feed me serve me, I might get better a little faster. Really? <laughs> What's wrong? You don't disagree with me anymore? You believe whatever I said? These words are told from a shocking general as a weak woman to I dare not to believe? Hey, you see, if you made a proposal at the last comic patient and I said yes, what are you gonna do? That's impossible. You wouldn't even say yes. Because... Growing up, you haven't changed. You're always so innocent and kind. You said you would quit. Is it true? Of course. All the fightings are not harmonious. I just want to stay secure and be a law-abiding citizen live a simple life with you. All the enterprise, fancy cars and watches, let's donate them all. Money for our daily lives is enough. The most important thing is to be with my family. <laughs>